friends Mexican chicken uh, what I did was I took some chicken breast boneless split them down the middle and then I pound them so when you split it this is what it looks like okay now you have the skin side and that's the side you want to pound you want to get this nice and thick What we're trying to do is just lessen the thickness of this breast by pounding it down. Good. This is what I'm using. A little mallet. I use the rigid side. You pound them up, and then you're gonna fill it with a mixture of very fine chopped bell pepper, very fine chopped red pepper, about a cup. And I'll be right back to show you the coating. All right, the coating basically is gonna be cornflakes that I just took and smashed them up into a dish, like so. To that, you're gonna add onion powder. Garlic powder. Chili powder. <laughs> Paprika. <laughs> and the most important, ground cumin. Ground cumin, you're going to go a little more liberal because it's the main. Uh, ground cumin, folks, mixed with all the mixtures I just showed you here is basically your taco seasoning, fajita seasoning. Once we got that all in, we're just gonna mix it up with our hands like this. Mix it all in there. And that's it. That's your coating. This is what you're gonna coat your Mexican chicken with. And let me tell you, you folks are gonna love this dish. This is freaking fantastic. Let's assemble this baby. All right, now to assemble. So we got our chicken breast here. We're gonna lay the filling in the middle. Don't be shy, you got plenty. So the bell peppers and the onion mix go right here in the middle. Okay? Now, on the side here, I have some toothpicks. I'm gonna stick those, you'll see. So now we roll them. So let's roll them up. All right, stick a toothpick through there. Bam, you should only have to use one. Again, roll it. Toothpick, boom, through the middle. That holds everything together. I got a real big one here, this one, this one will be easier for you to see. So the bell pepper, onion mix in the middle. Okay, don't be shy. Let's roll this bad Larry up. And that's why you pound it, so it's nice and thick, you know? Not too thick. Then you stick the toothpick through it, boom. Right through the middle there. The toothpick is just to hold everything together. Then I got a little guy here. Same thing. Rest of your mix. Don't 
That worked out beautifully. I'm gonna roll this up. And toothpick through the middle. Now, I'll show you the batter, egg wash, into the pan. This is where it gets a little messy, but still easy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about losing some peppers and stuff like this. So we're gonna take the chicken that we rolled up, roll it in the egg, egg wash, which is just an egg and a little heavy cream I whipped together, okay? That gets rolled into your mix, like so, onto a cookie sheet. Repeat, egg wash, let the excess run off, into your mix, and I'm using one hand to throw it into the egg wash, and with another hand to coat. Since there's really not a lot here, it's an easy way to do it. Egg wash, let the access run out, roll it into your mix, your corn uh, flakes mix, onto the cookie sheet. Egg wash, let the access run out, into your corn flake mix. Beauty. On to the cookie sheet. And now you're gonna have some extra uh, mix here. Cornflake mix. What you're gonna do with that? You are going to, or well, we are going to, excuse me, stepping off for a second. We're gonna take the little bit that's left here, right? And we're gonna coat the top, stuff it in there a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Get the little extra in there, don't be afraid. This is your flavor, your extra coating there, okay? Throw that extra coating in there. And don't forget, each one of these has one toothpick in it. So you know, for chicken breast, you should be left with four, uh, Toothpicks in the end. All right, beauty. Looks good. Don't be afraid, friends. Coat that nice. Worry about the mess. It's all beautiful. Then I like to pat down my hand like this. Get a little flat. Make sure everything's incorporated, beauty. Now, that goes into the oven. Bottom rack, 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. You'll know when the juices start to run out of here. Claire, she's ready. Usually what I make with uh, Mexican chicken is a little uh, rice with some uh, flavor with some Goya, the orange package, and that's it. No salt, no nothing. Two and a half cups water, two packages of Goya, bring it to a boil. One cup rice, mix it in, and let it go, baby. It's well on its way to minimum 15 minutes, so we're looking at another at least 10 minutes. You see how it's all white there? That means it's not done yet. And if you uh, really don't know, you go to the thermometer, stick it in the middle there, and it should read 160. And here's our rice, friends. Oh, yeah. All right, friends, it's been about 25 minutes. Uh, now, you got to pull the toothpicks out of here. And you can feel it because you only put one in, so you know. And, again, sorry if I'm cutting myself out, but what you want to do is rip these things out. I know they're kind of slimy. Uh, but as you can see, I already pulled three out, and I'm working on this one here. Come on. All right, that one's being very, very stubborn. Um, again, didn't plan for that. But uh, hey, there it is. I don't care. Not the way to do it, but that's how I do it. All right, two take out. Now you get all the toothpicks out. Again, chicken's been in the oven for about, I don't know, 25 minutes. Here we got some Mexican cheese, right? 
So we're gonna add that Mexican cheese on top. Again, don't be shy with the cheese, folks. Okay, add some cheese on top. Back it to the oven to melt that cheese. Then we'll see what it looks like. Sorry about me uh, using my tooth, to my mouth, to take the toothpick out. But man, sometimes you just gotta do it. You know what I mean? That's all right. It's our secret. Okay, my friends, that's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. I have another little secret to show you. And here's our rice, happily sitting there waiting to be served. Life is good. Okay, my friends, and this is what it is. Now you have your um, Mexican chicken, and then on top you get uh, some um, salsa. And that is the meal. And life is good. And that's the end. Mexican chicken. I'm um, chi um, chicken. What do you say, Maddie? Mexican chicken? Wheel and a knife? Maddie? What? You like Mexican chicken? Yeah. Okay, can you chicken. put the knife down? You're making me nervous. Okay, I want to Say bye, friends. I want say bye, friends. I want to say bye. Maddie, say bye, friends. Bye, friends. <laughs>